name's Bonnet Shepherd, I'm a performer, and I make videos about all things to do with this crazy industry. So a few months ago I received a comment on one of my videos from Ben Simon Wilson. Could you do a video on the audition process for your IAB audition, which is the Institute of the Arts Barcelona, such as the day and what you have to prepare and everything like that please. Love your channel. Cool. Thank you so much for that comment Ben. If you have any comments, if you're watching this video and you have any questions or any videos you would like me to make, do leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to get to them as soon as I can. So I thought I would dedicate this video to like everything about auditioning for colleges as a performer because I do get a lot of questions about that. Okay, so just to answer Ben's question and a few other people's questions about my audition process for the Institute of the Arts Barcelona, which is IAB. So I did a two year course at the College of Dance, which was like almost like a foundation in dance. I basically started dancing quite later in life. I was about 17 when I started doing ballet, jazz, uh, tap and all of that. I had done Irish dancing the rest of my life. So I was a bit older getting into the game. So I did this kind of like two year intensive full time just dance. And we did singing once a week as well, just to kind of get myself up to scratch and to be able to audition for colleges. It's a pretty long story what I did, but um, yeah, if you would like to hear more about that, do leave a comment in the comment section below and I can do a story time on that, but it's a pretty long story. My audition for this college that I did attend was a little different to my other auditions because basically IAB kind of were doing a tour, they were a new college, so they were doing kind of like a tour around different countries of like doing auditions in different countries. So they actually came to Dublin. At the time there wasn't too many dance colleges, I believe a few more have popped up since then, but at this time there wasn't too many dance colleges. So there was our college, which was the College of Dance Dublin, and they had a dance studio. So I think they got in touch or the IAB got in touch with them, something like this, and they kind of organized that they would do the auditions in our studios, in our college that we were at. And then so basically what happened is they just came to our college and they actually took our year, which was the second year of the College of Dance, and they just auditioned us together because like we were like the perfect size group. They had other people coming in after us at a later time so they could kind of get us done, get in another group, get them audition and kind of keep the ball rolling. We had two people come in and audition us. Usually what happens in dance audition is they will do like some type of technical like turns, maybe a few kicks, maybe a few jumps and then they'll go into a choreography. And I remember that like they did a few bits, like a few kind of technical exercises but it was really fast. It was like, you knew they were under time pressure to like get us in, get us in, get us out. Um, so it was very fast. Um, and then I remember doing the dance choreography. Uh, we were in a dance studio, in our dance studios so that we were used to dancing in, which was good because we were able to like wear the clothing and like the shoes that we knew would work best on the floor, blah, blah, blah. And um, so yeah, we did a dance choreography, which was kind of like more jazz um, at the beginning. And then it kind of went into more lyrical kind of contemporary towards the end of this uh, like dance choreography. And it was extremely fast. I remember we danced it like a few times and she kept adding on and it was just fast. And I remember feeling like I didn't really do very well, but they were like, right, that's all we need to see. Thank you so much. Um, everyone, if we can ask you to leave and then come back in. And if you want to audition for our musical theatre course, we'll need to see you singing a song. And I remember just thinking, um, I just want to dance it one more time. Like, I'm not really happy with how I've done. So after we did our dance round, they took us all out of the room and they said, anyone who wants to audition for the musical theatre course, the MT course, come back in. Now I was in two minds about what I wanted to do. Did I want to do just dance or did I want to keep my options open and do musical theatre? And the way it kind of worked with the Institute of the Arts Barcelona at the IAB was that like you did a dance course from the beginning or you did a musical theatre course from the beginning. Other colleges, every college is different do kind of an all-in-one first year and then after the first year you kind of pick a different stream like what do you want to do they didn't do that with our college I was like right well I want to obviously audition keep my options open so I went in and I sang for them and straight away they said yeah we think you should audition for the musical theatre and not just the dance and I was like oh well, I'm not really sure <laughs> I wasn't really sure I didn't know what I wanted to do so um that kind of threw a spanner in the works and as it turns out I did take their advice and I did do the three year musical theatre course. So, how 
how do you book the college audition? Usually you go onto the college website, you just go into Google, type in the college name, go on the website and there will be like an application form to try to get an audition. Usually you do have to pay for each individual audition so do keep that in mind when you're deciding how many colleges you want to apply for. Apply for as many as you can, try to audition for as many as you can to keep your options open but you do have to pay for each individual audition and if you're like me who doesn't live let's say in London where a majority of the colleges are or like for example I studied in Barcelona so I, like if you have to travel to these different venues keep that in mind when you're planning how many auditions you want to do. I remember I picked three colleges in London and I flew over to London for three days, stayed in a hotel and I literally did one audition after another. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that because it's quite nerve-wracking, my body was a bit broken after it and yeah it's just a totally new experience but if you're trying to save money, if you're having to travel from abroad, you're probably still in college so you want to like save the amount of time that you're missing out on actual college, all of that sort of stuff. So if that is something that you have to do, a lot of people do that, they kind of bulk book their auditions and communicate with the colleges, look I'm doing this audition for this college on this day, is it okay if I do it on this day which is directly the next day after so that I don't have to fly back and forth to save myself fees and usually colleges are quite understanding because they know it's quite expensive just the audition process. Which brings me on to my next point of picking the college that you should attend and knowing what college is right for you. This can often be like a difficult decision with any industry you're in, like knowing what college to go to. And I would say just kind of try to go with your gut feeling. I know it's easier said than done, but like I feel like after you've done a lot of research, you know, you've looked at colleges online, you've watched other videos from different events, you've looked at the different teachers, you've gone on social media, especially with social media, like you've so much there to look at, to absorb and be like, what do I think will give me, will put me on the right career path for me, for what I want, for whatever job I want to achieve. Do you know what I mean? that's something that each individual only knows for themselves and you can get like so much advice off other people but you need to know yourself. I remember being so fixated on one college. I got accepted into the foundation course in this college and I thought yeah I need to go there like that's the college that I've always wanted and um, I'll do the foundation course then hopefully I'll get a scholarship and I'll do my three-year degree and everything will be amazing I'll be in London and a lot. After I did the audition I don't know what it was, there was something about, like it was it was a tough audition, it was really competitive, there was people in the audition that like really scared me <laughs> um, and they were just very different to me and um, as much as I wanted to go to that college and I loved all the videos I saw online and all the, the people that they produced, like all the performers that they produced, I loved all of that, just something didn't click, I, I don't know, in the end I did pick the Institute of the Arts of Barcelona because I thought like as well as like a dancer and a performer and everything like that like I'm a person I'm a human and it was also a good life experience going to Barcelona like uh, experiencing this different culture like living in this absolutely amazing beautiful place and you know like when I look back on my training in the IAB I do think like that was really really a good choice for me just for even like your mental health I remember coming out of a good few classes very defeated not feeling like I'm improving you might have like a twin or an injury or like you might not have done very well in an assessment you might be feeling pretty day and I remember like a good few times walking the long way home like by the beach and just sitting looking out on, at the sea at the water and just like just taking a few minutes to chill maybe have a little cry <laughs> um pick yourself up cycle on home and get on with it yeah I guess like living away from home as well like with people that you're only meeting for the first time and um, you're only getting to know it was like this massive experience it was like a massive challenge and to have it in a place that was like so beautiful and calm and relaxed rather than like the mayhem of London I think suited me personally better and um, like then okay fast forward three years later and then I have to do the whole transition into London and learn about London and the scene there and what's going on and what teachers like yeah okay there was that like of course there was but anyway like I don't know it's hard to know like I wouldn't change anything from my experience myself. So usually when you've decided what audition you want to do, what college you want to audition for, they will have like an information pack that they will either send you or it will be on their website and it will tell you like how many monologues they want to see, if they want to see a monologue, how long their dance audition will be, what they'll do, will they do a ballet bar, jazz, technical warm up, maybe some commercial. It should give you all that information in there so you know what clothes to bring, what shoes to bring so you're organised and also it will tell you if you have to sing and if you do have to sing what songs they want to hear, usually like an up tempo and a ballet to have them both prepared and um, I think I definitely sang the same song 
and it was an up-tempo song for all of my college auditions. I don't ever think they were like, oh yeah, sing another one. They might ask that. It's so dependent on you as an individual, everyone's different. So everyone's experience will be different. Don't be alarmed if they ask you any questions and they probably will ask you questions just to try to get you talking, just to try to understand what you want for yourself. Like, can they give you what you want? Can they help you with that? Can they assist you? Can they give you the training you want? Um, they might after you sing, they might even like try to work on the song with you. It's not them telling you you're bad, it's them trying to see how you work with them, how you learn, how you adjust, how you adapt to the information they're giving you. So just don't be alarmed. They are testing you, but in the best possible way. They just want to see how you work. They want to get the best from you. They want the best students. So they want to see your best work. They don't want you to fail. They're not trying to push you so that you fail. They're trying to push you to see how good your potential is so that they can work with you, mold you to be what you want to be and what also what they think you can be. So when it comes to the dance side of the audition, definitely just wear what feels comfortable for you. I know that like usually it's kind of like a leotard and tight situation or maybe it's actually like a nice active wear, like two piece situation where you can just kind of wear what you want. But whatever it is, just make sure that you feel comfortable because you don't want to be distracted by something itching you or you feeling too exposed or you feeling uncomfortable. Make sure it's something you feel comfortable in. You've danced in it before, you know you can dance in it, you know it doesn't limit your flexibility. Like even just throw it on if it's something new that you've bought for the audition, throw it on, like kick your legs around, make sure that you are able to do the best you can do in whatever you're wearing. Wear something more colourful so you can stand out because obviously there's going to be a lot of people at these auditions. Make sure it's something that shows you off, maybe a colour that like flatters you more and that you like as well. So one like massive bit of advice I could give if I was looking back on my experience auditioning for colleges compared to like what I've learned now, just be yourself. Don't look at other people that have come out of the college and think I need to be like that person. But don't go in thinking you have to be anything other than what you are because they just want to see you. They want to see what are you like? Who are you? The rest of it doesn't matter. The rest they can work on, they can change. If they think you should do something in the future with your look or whatever, they can give you that advice when they've worked with you for a long time and when they see what direction you're going in. You don't need to kind of anticipate that they might want you to look a bit different or whatever because I remember when I was going to do my auditions for colleges, I decided that I needed to have blonde hair. I have brown hair, every girl in this industry has brown hair and I thought I need to stand out, like I wanted to get into a college that they loved, like blonde haired girls. I'm quite leggy, I can kick my legs quite easily, like I'm quite flexible. So I thought, oh yeah, everyone always says like blonde leggy girls get in. So I was like, yeah, cool, I'm gonna dye my hair blonde. Had it in my head, I was like, no one's stopping me, I'm gonna dye my hair blonde. I don't think dyeing my hair blonde did me any, like, I don't think it helped me at all. Um, <laughs> and I think it really ruined my hair in the long run. So I just like wouldn't advise doing anything crazy like that. I think it can be quite a nerve wracking time. You put so much effort into getting into these colleges that you wanna make sure it's gonna happen. But I wouldn't change anything about yourself and the way you look. I would stick to what you are naturally and just go in with that with confidence and yeah just be yourself be the nice person you are so the biggest bit of advice i could definitely offer after the many auditions i've done at this point um, and this kind of just goes for life in general in this industry is to focus on yourself i can't tell you that amount of times i went to auditions and was thinking about what this person that person was doing how good they were how good she looks um, oh, I know that person, they're probably like judging me right now, blah, blah, blah. like too much going on inside my own head. And if I could offer any advice, it would be to not do that and just to focus on yourself, just 100% stay focused on the information they are giving you, the dance routine they are teaching you, the advice they are giving you when you're singing, when they're trying to work with you as a singer, anything like that. Just stay focused on that. Don't be trying to see or hear what teachers are writing down, what they're saying. Don't get distracted if someone's looking at you, like just do your best and that's all. Don't let anything else come into your head and like practice that in dance classes up until your audition. Like go to dance classes that maybe you're not 100% comfortable with and just focus on that, like focus on yourself, trying to do the best you can, even if it's like a little bit out of your league, if you're like, no, this isn't like, I'm not a dancer, I'm a singer, but I'm auditioning for this college and they're making me dance, I don't feel comfortable. Just take a deep breath and keep going and do as best as you can because they will eventually see that, okay, look, you're more of a singer, great. And you did okay in the dance round. We can work with that. Okay, we've got something good here. Happy days. You know, it's it's they're not trying to make you fail. So just, yeah, 
do the best you can and just stay focused as much as you can. So do make sure that you get to these auditions about 15 to 30 minutes before they say it will start, just so you can get your bearings. They might be splitting you up into groups because there might be a lot of people coming to the audition if it's an audition at their college site or even in a dance studio as well. So make sure that you just get your bearings because often these buildings can be quite big, have a lot of rooms in them, easy to get lost. So you don't kind of want to be the last one rushing, panicking. You're already going to be stressed. You're already going to be nervous. So the best thing you can do is just like give yourself a little bit of time to make sure that you know where you're going and what's going on. So usually you will arrive to the college and you will have to sign in and literally just wait around until they get you in a group into the room. They might split the day up um, into singing, dancing and acting. So you'll do your songs that you've prepared. Then you'll go in and you will learn a dance there and then. And then you will go to acting and acting monologue if it's what's asked of you. Every audition is totally different depending on what you're auditioning for. And also the order of what way they do it will change. Because they might have three groups in while one group is singing, the other group is dancing, the other group is acting. You know the way it works, they'll just switch it around. So yeah, it's very important just to be ready like for whatever they might like throw at you. Do ask what you'll be doing first so you're in the right clothes and you're not rushing at the last minute. Then I remember like talking to my mother who gave me some good advice after this and like she kind of said to me you know you are going to college to learn they're not auditioning you for a job right now they're auditioning you as someone who is able to continue to learn and continue to grow so that like kind of helped me like relax myself and I was waiting for like the results or whatever after the auditions that I was doing for all these colleges because that is so true like you're not going to be ready-made going into a college like you're there to learn you're volunteering yourself up for three years of intense full-time training like intense training and you know that and they know you're doing that so they know that you're willing to work hard and like I remember in like every interview I had I was like I'm so willing to work hard like I know I'm not where I need to be I will work hard and I did and you're also there to kind of get a good vibe from that college or trying to get the vibe of like what is that college like especially if you're going to their college to their like campus or whatever you want to call it when you're going to their building it's a really good time for you to like audition them and be like do I like them are they good teachers do I get a good vibe do I think I can learn from these people is it a nice building that they're in I remember auditioning for one college that I'd heard so many good things about and I went to the actual building it was awful the building was like run down it was wet it was damp and I knew that from going there and auditioning and I didn't think I would get anything from the teachers because they scared me <laughs> um and I don't think I work well with like when people kind of scare like that's just me I know me like so I like I remember just getting a really bad vibe from one of the auditions that I did you can get quite nervous like especially because this is probably going to be one of your first time auditioning or whatever but just to kind of realize that actually you have to see if you like them as much as they have to see if they'll like you so it kind of works both ways and you are there you're going there to learn you're not going there to book a job it's a different story when you're going to book a job you know so yeah that is everything that I have to share about auditioning for different colleges if you did like this hit the like button and make sure you do subscribe to my channel as it really supports my channel and lets me know that you're enjoying these kind of videos I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who has been subscribing as it means the absolute world to me and I just can't believe all the support I'm getting so thank you so much for that